Hello everyone, welcome to Best Recipes with Sharon. Here we're going to be making a very interesting casserole called Meat Lover's Pizza Casserole. And as with pizza, there's many variations on how you can do this casserole. So let's get right to making this. Boil about four cups of hot water in a medium-sized saucepan and add two cups of penne pasta. Add a little bit of olive oil to your water to keep it from sticking or boiling over. And start frying a few strips of bacon in a separate frying pan. And fry a pound of ground beef in another frying pan. And slice and chop one whole yellow onion. Then take this and add it to your ground beef mixture and fry it with the ground beef. So three things going on at once here. Remove the bacon once it's cooked. And I use the side of a designated fork to chop the ground beef as it's cooking. And then take a separate large spoon and stir the pasta once in a while. Add two teaspoons of Italian seasoning to the ground beef. And mix that in a little bit. Season it with a sprinkling of salt and pepper. I'm just giving the pasta another stir here. Then I take three cloves of garlic and chop them finely and add it to the hamburger. Add one can of diced tomatoes. It can be the kind with herbs and spices in it or just the diced tomatoes, whatever you wish, but about 796 ml of diced tomatoes. Cook the penne pasta until al dente, which means it's still firm to the bite. Then take the pasta and drain it and set it aside until you're ready to use it. Now add one and a half to two cups of pasta sauce to the meat mixture. It's up to you how saucy you want it to be. And just continue simmering on low. Then take one mild Italian sausage and peel off the casing and just use the minced meat that's inside the sausage. We're going to make a little bit of mini meatballs for the toppings. Take one slice of white bread and just chop it up like this. Don't use the crust, just the inside of the bread. Put it in with the Italian sausage meat and make little mini meatballs. Put it into the frying pan where the bacon was fried in. You can drain off some of the grease if you don't want quite so much, which is what I did. And then I added a quarter cup of chopped green peppers in with that and fried that. Just making use of the pan at the same time. So then I added that to the hamburger mixture. And now one and a half to two cups of double cheddar cheese. Turn your heat off and pull your pan off the heat. Then take a large bowl and add your pasta to that bowl and we'll start mixing the ingredients together to form our casserole. So here we just add the hamburger mixture on top of the pasta and mix it in really well. Take and place it into your pan that's been greased. Spread it out evenly. Sprinkle the top with one and a half cups of mozzarella cheese. And you can add whatever toppings on top that you want. I'm adding some bacon here, some pepperoni, basically any topping that you would put on a pizza. And here, all of this is optional. It's totally up to you. See, I'm even adding pineapple here. And then I'm adding the little mini meatballs that I've made from the sausage, because this is a meat lover's pizza casserole. And I'm adding a little bit of green olives just on the one side here. Then you place it in a 400 degree oven on the middle rack for about 20 minutes or so. And you switch your oven to broil until it browns nicely on top. Now this pizza could be individualized pretty easily. Just pour your pasta into individual casserole dishes that are little minis if you have them, or little ramkins even, and top them however that person likes it and cook them individually. So here you have another great casserole idea. Go ahead, use your own imagination and alter the amount of cheese or the sauce and make it your very own. Thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time.